Okay, hi there, folks. Um, sort of touch different today. Instead of Eddard, we've got uh, oh someone new to play with. So this is the uh, newly released Hobby 2000 uh, P40N Warhawk uh, over CBIs. So so there's two boxings of this. Uh, one with some natural metal finishes, and this one I went with this one. Um, outside the box, win number uh, so. Uh, 48 scale, 48002, uh, some nice clear box art, I quite like this clean look to be honest, uh, with this lovely uh, lovely nose art, got a lovely piece on the side there telling you all about it, uh, copied on the edge, uh, safety information on that side, and copied on the edge there. Now, Here's the clever bit with this kit, before I even open it. I know one thing about it. It's not Hobby 2000. This particular kit is actually reboxed uh, as the Hesagawa kit. So again, like some of the others that we've done in the past, this is a remarkably cheap way of getting hold of one of the better Warhawks on the market. I know that there's quite a lot of talk about whether or not Eddard will do it in the future, uh, but as of yet, uh, they don't. So you've got a choice basically of the Airfix one or the Hesegal one. Getting hold of the Hesegal one can be difficult. But getting hold of this one is remarkably easy. So let's have a look. Uh, if I can pop that up there for a bit. Right, so we have, of course, uh, not a sponsor, but uh, same guys have always helped me get out my stuff. The uh, our team from MGL. Got a pile of those. Uh, we've got what looks like some nice big clear bits. We've got oh, we've got some stuff in here. What we got? We've got some decals. We'll get to them in a minute. We've got a mask set. Looks very nice. Uh, so that's the instructions, and then we've got everything in one huge bag. So right, instructions time. So instructions look really nice and clear. Uh, just to make sure we can see all of that in shot. We can't quite, but it's good. Uh, so we've got a copy again of the uh, our box art. We've got parts layout. Uh, it looks like we've got part of the um, painting guide just stuck on the front here, so be mildly careful because I imagine it's repeated elsewhere. Uh, Colour chart in AK, Alcad, Ammo, uh, Hataka, Mr. Collar, and Tamiya. So that's good. They're not, uh, not taking sides. Again, we've got um, someone's been rather clever. The painting mask is inside and outside, which is quite nice for those people who want to do it that way. Uh, and yes, we've got two options in the kit. Uh, so we've got this awesome looking one here with the uh, our skull on the nose. And we've got this one further down, uh, which is a little, a little clearer, a little simpler. Um, which also has a little bit of nose art there. I've got a little Bugs Bunny, which is pretty cool. Uh, so really simple, really clear. Um, I mean, you know, time will tell if it's better or worse than the Hescar instructions, but uh, it certainly looks pretty good. So we've got building up the uh, canopy, uh, sorry, canopy, cockpit uh, box here, with some detail going uh, on the sides here. Instrument panel looks like some more stuff there, possibly for decals, etc. Don't know their stuff, so what does star mean? Star does mean decal. There we go. So we've got some decals to go on there. Uh, again, obviously anything for the hair cigar kit will fit this one. So um, other aftermarket, etc. Uh, we have then got down into the nose intake bay, uh, which has several parts to it just there. Um, and then no, one, two, yeah, so that's all one, then that's two, okay, so not the clearest. Uh, Fusilized sides going together, a little piece of wire, I assume, is clear. Uh, now that the uh, fuselage sides are together, we've got the exhaust going in. That same uh, part going in for the uh, of the fronts that you built earlier on. Uh, 
little bit inside the cockpit blanking off the rear part uh, looks like there's a little bit there to say to paint early on some bits not to glue if you want the prop to spin uh, then it's over here to step four uh, more potentially uh, clear parts etc uh, a couple of little differences for this individual boxing uh, then we've got wings going together uh, with some plates in for this individual marking. Looks like we're going to have some bits for the uh, inside of the undercarriage, which is nice. Then we've got this tail assembly going on. So the tail assembly is separate. Uh, again, I assume to make for different parts. Again, uh, whether or not the fit, of course, is going to be great. Uh, we shall see. But again, it is technically a Hezekiah, so I can't imagine there's going to be an issue. Uh, wing going on, cannons going on, and then they've got you starting. No, you haven't. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so they've just got you doing the uh, old fuel tanks. Need those later on. Then the main gear, uh, which looks like it has a separate part for the actual hub. Then we're over here. Uh, so we've got some smaller parts going on now. Uh, tail wheel, uh, the uh, vanes from the radiator underneath, some smaller parts. Again, I personally would probably leave those a little bit, get the painting done before we start sticking on teeny little bits. Uh, main gear installation, uh, because of the size, it is a little bit small to see everything going on here. If I'm honest, it's all right when you're doing big chunky bits here, but this is a little bit crowded now. Um, but again, we do have colour call-outs, etc. for all the individual pieces. And then right at the very, very bottom there, um, we've got the prop going on and uh, canopy. So, yeah, and another little difference there if you're going to put certain bits and bobs in. So, all right, quite simple, quite clear. Shouldn't really see any problems going on with that. Pop that over there. Uh, we've had a look at the uh, the mask set, which is really nice that it comes in. It appears they're basically doing like an old school Eddard. So they've got you know the plastic from you know the best place they can find, in this case Hasegawa, and then putting all their old own bits on. So we've got some lovely decals here uh, printed by Cartograph. Uh, so we've got the skull, which already has cutouts for the uh, exhausts. Some nicely detailed ones for the inside of the cockpit. Choose to go that route. Uh, we've got bugs here. What's up, dog? Um, we do have some smaller individual um, serials dotted about, all of which look nice and sharp. Uh, typically cartographed. They're glossy, but not too glossy. They're not too thick. They should be quite nice. Can't see any issue there. So yep, yeah, much like uh, our previous things they've done for the likes of Eddard, this is one big bag, all uh, all sealed up. So we'll have to be mildly careful as we open this. As you can see I have not yet, and I haven't got pet. anything to cut it with. There we go. Just totally ruined my nicely tidied up desk. So what have we got? Let's have a look. Come on now. Yeah, pass. Oh, we're already knocking things off. This is going well. It's caught on the other side. That's why. There we go. Okay, so I've already managed to knock something off. This is why I don't like single bags. Um, oh, it's not anything important, thankfully. Looks like a little tab for telling me which sprue is which. So, apparently, sprue A... Won't have anything on it. We'll put that to one side as I always do to protect the clear parts later on. Talking of which, we shall start with those then. Do it properly this time. So, what do we have? We have some uh, protective paper. We have some rubber grommets, I assume, for. I didn't see them in the instructions. Was that for the prop, was it? I'm seeing one. Might have a quick look later. Made in Japan. 
Okay, clear parts then. So we've got some large parts here for uh, our Warhawk. Uh, they look nice and clear. We've got maybe some small scratches uh, just here. Um, we buff those out. Uh, but overall, perfectly good. I've seen better, I've seen worse. Of course, as I say, it's got a nice big canopy, so you want to show off all those internals. Front part there looks lovely and clear. The big canopy, you know, you compare it against something that sounds a bit far. Um, some smaller bits, little lenses and stuff. Overall, like that. Put them back in there where they're protected. And we'll have a look at the main plastic parts. So, first of all, we have uh, Sprue A, one that got damaged. So, we have some lovely parts here for the inside of the cockpit. They look really, really nice. Not seeing any sort of uh, flash or anything on these parts at all. Bits of the front of the wings, that's the radiator at the front. There's the little veins for the back. Got a curved looking floor. Some lovely detail on there. And we've got sort of the money shot parts, I guess. Oh, the front part, the fuselage here. So we've got some lovely engraved detail. We've got uh, different sizes of uh, fixings, rivets, etc. Uh, all sorts of there, sliders and stuff. Little catches for the hatch there. That all looks quite nice. And on the back side, looks a touch rougher, but again, there's nothing here that's going to be on show or uh, anything. Looking inside the uh, wheel wells there, there's no real injection marks or anything like that. Some nice uh, wiring detail there. So, yep, nothing wrong with that. Uh, tail section. Again, looks much the same. Something on there, mind you, that might be mould release. Not when we clean these parts, I don't think the camera can pick that up. There's a little sort of scuffing sort of look there. Yeah, some scratches on there as well. So, yeah, again, one bag problems. But apart from that, it looks nice though. Assuming it all lines up, that's quite a positive, chunky connection. These instrument panels, though, are stunning. I don't know how well, again... There we go. They are epic. And again, if you fancy really, you know, uh, very carefully painting those, etc. I imagine those would look really, really nice. Got the nice vents there for round by the nose. They're looking really good. Got another smaller sprue here with the uh, part for around the back of the cockpit. Very basic looking seat. Probably needs dressing up, that does. And um, panel, I think, for behind it. Okay. Uh, again, some more important parts here some wings and the tail planes. We got some sort of ribbing, We've got a teeny teeny little bit of flash just across the edges there and so on the sprue, but most of it is off the parts. Nothing again, a quick swipe won't fix. Uh, let's try to see if that's webbing, but it isn't really. It's in the plastic, there's nothing actually on it again. Some minor scratches there. Bill looks clean and sharp, some nice detail on that. And again, on the back side, as I say, it looks a little rougher. But again, nothing on any of the parts that will matter. So that looks pretty tidy. Uh, smaller sprue with some of the smaller parts here. We've got some exhausts which are not hollowed out. Uh, so you'll have to either hollow those out or uh, perhaps find some others. Um, we've got the panels for underneath the wing. And the guns which are hollowed out. They look really nice. Like those. Uh, lovely chunky part for the under wing. We do have some signs of stress on some of these parts, but they all look okay. 
I can just see some injection coming through if the uh, camera can pick it up but feeling with my thumb I can't feel anything at all so I don't think it's come through at all again some not minor scratches but it's not too bad some lovely detail around where the uh, undercarriage legs will be and a tiny little bit of flash at the wingtip but I think we've got away with it and so you can see where the injection holes are here and they correspond to the other side but say so I think we've got away with it a little lucky but Hopefully all, every kit is the same, not just mine. Uh, we've got some wheel uh, wheels here. One part wheel with um, with ribbing, but of course that's going to disappear underneath the... Uh, you take this out of the, out of the sprue, which is a bit of a shame. Quite simple looking blanking plate, as it should be. Okay, quite nice. And then we've got a sort of double sprue here. Um, so what do we have on here? We have, did I see a tail wheel? Um, oh, here it is. So tail wheel's there and the other wheel is there. Oh, that, that section there is a repeat of that other sprue. There we go, R and R. Fair enough. S, which is up here, which has the prop, which looks quite nice. Tidy up the edges, that would look quite nice. The radiator again has some nice vent detail which is pretty cool we've got some bombs fuel tanks again other smaller parts aerials etc with no flash on whatsoever which is nice uh, that big chunky nose which again does have some rather na nasty scratches on unfortunately that we have to work those out but again nothing too difficult Again, backside of the prop looks just fine. And of course, all the other parts. Again, it's just all internal. So you won't see anything anyway. Hmm. Okay then. Well, nice quickie one. What did I want to check on? I want to check on where those rubber bungs go. P1. Where did P1 go? Can we see? Did anyone notice? So yeah, that's definitely one of those little rubber bungs that goes in for the prop, as I thought. But why is there four, then? Can't see at all. So it looks like that's just for uh, differing, uh, differing options, etc. There's nothing in the side the wing or anything like that for different versions of... Uh, load out or anything like that taking them on and off so yeah i think it is literally just as simple as there's different ones for uh for different props for different boxings so you'll only need one well hobby 2000 obviously taking a uh, leaf out of early eddard get the best model that you can put your own little extras to it nice clear instructions nice clear decals and uh some uh, some nice masks and away you go uh to be honest first time i've seen hobby 2000 and i highly recommend it should make a really nice build go buy one uh, as always like comment share apparently likes are really important according to youtube mm -hmm. and uh, i shall see you next time take care bye